got a lot of fabulous cruiser boards in our lineup this year. Gonna give you a little bit of a rundown on the differences between the shapes and the setups. This is the classic dinghy. It's our most compact cruiser. The deck, nice and tight, nice and small, mellow concave, so super comfortable for long days skating. Perfect for skating around your neighborhood, in and out of stores, on buses, putting in a locker. You can throw it on the overhead compartment in an airplane. It comes set up with Polar Bear 105s and 63 millimeter fatty hogs. The fatty hogs are our favorite cruiser wheel. Nice and wide, lots of urethane, so it soaks up all the bumps in the road. They come pre-scrubbed like this, so you can slide your wheels a little bit, but they're really, really grippy, so they don't slide if you're not expecting it to. This is an ideal setup for pushing long distances. It's fast, you can skate it forever, super comfortable, the best cruiser you can buy. This is the Dinghy Classic Fender. Traditional classic shape, same dimensions in every way, but we've added fenders to the mold so we can run way bigger wheels. The fenders in the mold allow you to lock your feet into this board really well. So if you're doing a long push, you can really lock in there. The ideal reason for the fenders is these giant wheels though. Super fast, great if you're somewhere flat. If you wanna cruise like a long beach, you wanna cruise like a trail through a forest, these wheels are great for that long ride. The Plow Kings are super wide, really nice and grippy. You can see how soft those lips are, but they're stone ground too. So if you really get into it, you can do some sliding and drifting on it as well. A really great all round longboard cruiser wheel. We have it on a bunch of different setups. It's great on the dinghy because you can really just rip. This is the dinghy coffin. Quite similar to the classic dinghy, just the shape is tapered and has a little bit more attitude. Showtime. The tapered shape gives you more leverage over the front truck. So it'll be a little bit quicker turning than a classic dinghy but comes set up with the same Polar Bear 105s and 63 mil fatty hogs. Here's the classic and the coffin side by side. You can see they're pretty much the identical length, same wheelbase, but the coffin's got a little bit wider nose and a little bit more taper on the tail. Just like the classic, this is perfect for skating around the neighborhood. Great if you have to go up and down hills because it's easy to push uphill over sidewalk cracks, stuff like that. It's comfortable going downhill. You can carve and cruise, ideal for your neighborhood. Okay, this is the dinghy shape nine. It's a bit of our wildest dinghy shape. It's got a great hammerhead type taper to it with the notch tail, the widest tail you can get on a dinghy. Really great for just locking your rear foot on there and ripping. Good for doing tricks and ollies and stuff too. Still set up with the Polar Bear 105s and 63 mil fatties. Here's the shape nine in the classic uh, compared side by side. You can see same length, same wheelbase, a little bit more width here, a little bit cooler tail, a little bit styly nose. Looking at these two side by side, you see the shape nine's a little bit wider, so it might be more your thing if you've got bigger feet. This is the dinghy blunt, a little bit bigger than the classic dinghy, tiny bit wider, easier for bigger feet, overall a little bit more stable, so it's a little bit easier to ride. Because of the setup, it's better for tricks and stuff too. So it comes set up with Polar Bear 130s and 60 mil chubbies. They look smaller, but three millimeters is not that big of a difference. These can still roll over everything in your path. They're a little bit quicker to push because they're smaller, lighter. Perfect for cruising around if you want a little bit more of a traditional skate feel or you want your first cruiser board. As you can see, the dinghy blunt, pretty much the same dimensions lengthwise, just a little bit wider all the way around. So that makes it easier for wider feet, more stable, that type of thing. This is the tugboat. Uh, one of our most popular cruiser boards ever. It's a scaled up dinghy, a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to ride. It's super comfortable, nice concave, small nose, great tail for doing tricks. If you're looking for something for cruising the neighborhood, taking with you to school or work, taking on a trip, it's a great board. Perfect for your first cruiser. Here's the tugboat in the classic dinghy. Uh, as you can see, scaled up all the way around. So you'll see on the website, there's some different setups on different types of tugboats. This flippy comes with 155 Polar Bears and 63 mil Easy Hogs. So same size diameter as the Fatty, but slightly skinnier. So it's easier for doing tricks, it's easier for sliding, that sort of stuff. You can customize all these setups on the board builder. This is the Slim Jim, one of our new boards the last couple of years. As you can see, got a fully capable nose and tail, perfect for cracking ollies, that type of stuff. Nice and skinny though, so it helps it feel nice and compact when you're ripping around town. It has a nice sleek look and feel to it. Chubby Hogs, 60 mil, nice contact patch. They come pre-scrubbed, great for sliding, so it has a really good all-around skate kind of feel. This is the Skiff, one of our bigger cruisers. Fully capable nose and tail, like a regular skate. 
Uh, nice rounded kind of shape to it. Really comfortable and cruisy. Just a big cruiser kind of feel. Set up with the 63 mil fatty hogs for maximum cruisability and speed functionality. 130 mil polar bear trucks. So really carvy, stable. You get pretty good leverage on this guy because the board's a tiny bit wider where the wheels line up. So you get really good leverage for great carving. This is the Raft. It's our biggest cruiser board based off like a 90s vibe skate shape. This is your rip around town getting rad vehicle. Perfect setup for cruising at lengths, but also rad enough to take on any kind of skate terrain, grass rides, whatever comes at you. This is set up with 63 mil fatties and 130 mil polar bears. This setup's unique because it's skinnier than the deck, so you get tons of leverage on this guy really carvy, turns super deep, big risers so you don't get wheel bite. Just a total blast for ripping around town. Big wide cruiser boards like this are great because they always give you a good place for your feet to go. You can do tricks and stuff like that. It's more forgiving when you're landing. It's generally just a little bit easier to be on your board. You don't have to worry about toes hanging over the edge or anything like that. Here I've got the Raft, the Slim Jim, and the Skiff. All three of these are cruiser boards with fully functional nose and tail. So it'll give you that uh, regular skate kind of performance and feel with a fully capable cruiser board. All pretty similar in wheelbase, but you can see the difference in the size, uh, giving you more carve and more leverage on the skiff and raft. All right, so that's a quick run through on our cruiser category. Lots of subtle differences between shapes and sizes, different setup options. Really, you can't go wrong. All of them are gonna improve your life, ensure you have a wonderful skate experience. If you're really struggling to choose, just choose your favorite graphic. They all ride well, they all feel great. We've put a lot of work and energy into every single setup here. Sometimes it just comes down to which one you like best. If you want to do more tricks or come from a traditional skateboard background, check out the ATV category. Those boards cruise really well, but they're fully capable skateboards as well. If you're more into carving and cruising, check out the longboard category. Get out there and skate.